Hey and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up a blog with Google Bard. And the best thing about it is I'm going to show you a super quick way to start earning income with your blog. When people think about blogs, they think, oh God, it's going to be difficult and it's going to be, you know, time consuming. And look, blogging is, it does take effort. I'm not going to lie to you on that, but it is so much fun. And if you get a passion for it and enjoy it, it also becomes profitable for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything. I'm going to walk you through your niche selection. I'm going to walk you through your sub niche selection. I'm going to walk you through products. I'm going to walk you through a website setup. I'm going to walk you through content creation. I'm going to walk you through content calendar creation, which basically is like 300 post creation. And finally, if you stick around with me until the end, I'm going to show you how to start earning an income in the quickest time possible. And I'm going to show you the exact steps that you need to do to start doing it. So if you're looking to start a blog with Google Bard in 2024, this is the video for you. I'm looking forward to having you here with me. My name's Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. Let's get into it. So there are two steps to finding your niche, okay? First is actually discovering what it is that you like doing. Uh, and the next thing is actually finding what I call a niche within a niche or a two down niche, okay? And I'm gonna bring you through the steps that you need to actually do this. It's super, super simple. And I've got all the equipment here for you to get this done in super quick time. Okay, so what I want you to first do is on a piece of paper or whatever it actually is on your computer, write down three things that you enjoy doing three things that you're good at and three things that you'd like to learn about and i just wrote down my ideas here so i enjoy traveling i enjoy cooking and i enjoy collecting kind of things like even uh mickey mouse here as you can see so i <laughs> I, I enjoy collecting things and kind of then potentially selling them on ebay as well okay three things i'm good at i'm good at seo i'm good at writing uh, and I'm good at understanding prompting and artificial intelligence. Okay. So the next thing, three things that I'd like to learn about are psychology, yoga, and Kung Fu. And I think I'll hopefully we'll be going to China this year to study Kung Fu for a few months. So it, it's good to do things. It's good to get down your niche ideas of things that are really, really interesting to you. And the reason being is because when you actually start creating content for your website, you want to do it in a niche that you love, because if you come up against issues with a niche that you love, it's easier to get over them than if you come up against issues with a niche you don't love and you don't know much about. OK, so with that in mind, I want you to do that quick exercise. Once you've done that, you're going to come to step two of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a niche within a niche or our two down niche. OK, and this is super, super simple. OK. So we're going to use Google Bard for free. OK, so Google Bard is free and it's a really awesome artificial intelligence tool for this. So we're just going to put in our prompt here. Now you have access to these prompts below and you've access to all of the prompts that you need to get your website set up. So first, we're just going to say, hi, Bard, can you give me 10 sub sub niches within the niche? And we're going to choose one of our niches from here. Let's say Kung Fu. OK, and Whatever your niche is, you're just going to replace it with insert niche and you're going to put and click enter. OK, and what Bard is going to do is. It's going to actually break down the the niche of Kung Fu into the sub sub niches and you got Shaolin Temple Kung Fu, you got Wing Chun Kung Fu, you got Wudang Kung Fu, uh, you got Bang Zhang, you got Hargar Kung Fu, you got Praying Mantis Kung Fu, you got Jeet Kune Do, you got Sandus. So what this basically is doing is it's taking um it's taking the big niche that is going to be super difficult to actually rank in and finding us a more specific niche which is easier to actually rank in okay now there is also a video and you have access to that video as well in the sheet below and it's how to find a profitable niche so it shows you actually how to use the prompt correctly to actually find the niche for yourself. So you've got access to that down below. So that is the first step is actually finding your niche. OK, so there's two steps to it. You got to first find out the ideas that you want to actually do. And it's super simple. You saw the three questions that I asked. And then you're just going to use Google Bard on a simple prompt to find the niches that you actually want to go into. And I would recommend also watching the video here on how to find a profitable niche in a crazy competitive markets.
So what we need to do now is we need to choose which one of these actually really stands out for us, which is the one that we feel that we can add the most value to. And then we're just going to choose it. So for quickness sake, I'm just going to actually choose the, I'm going to choose the Jeet Kune Do. Okay. So that's going to be my niche that I'm going to look to target. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to look at is actually making money with our niche because this is super, super important. Look, everybody loves the idea of blogging, but I'll tell you something, it's far nicer to be blogging and actually earning an income from it. And that's what we're looking at now, monetizing your passion. So there are amazing websites called affiliate networks, and there are things called affiliate products, which are products that you can promote that will be in your niche. And if a sale is made, you make a commission. Now, one of the biggest affiliate networks around is actually Amazon, and it's called Amazon Associates. So here's what the inside of Amazon Associates actually looks like. As you can see, there's home, products, promotions, tools, reports, etc. Okay, so it says uh, link to any page. Now, this is the beauty and simplicity of Amazon. Okay, so you can come to Amazon, you'll find a product that you actually like, and all you do is you're just going to paste your link in. And then you just say, click get HTML. Okay, so what this basically is, is this is now your own affiliate link. So any affiliate sales that are made when somebody clicks on this link, you make money. Okay, really, really simple to use. There's another one called ClickBank. Now ClickBank is a digital marketplace. So where Amazon sells physical products, ClickBank sells digital products. And you can sign up as a blogger and actually start promoting ClickBank uh, products. So let's say that you are in the woodworking niche, okay? So Ted's Woodworking, highest converting woodworking site on the internet. Now, if you signed up for Ted's work, Woodworking and you started promoting it, maybe it was on a blog about woodworking, then for every sale that was made, you could make $54.12 commission. So imagine if you got 10 of them in a week. Okay, that's like 540. If you did that a month, okay, four weeks, you're over two grand a month. Okay, now you have to build up to that. But they're the, they're the possibilities. Okay, another store that I absolutely love is called Digistore. And again, you can go on here and you can sign up for free. You can find products that are related to your niche and then you can actually start promoting them. It's super simple to get started. All you do is click get started now and it's free to sign up. There are so many more affiliate marketing networks out there, but these are the best ones, especially for a beginner to get started on. So what we have to do now is we need to buy a domain name associated with that niche. And a domain name pretty much is like kirondoyle.com, googlebard or google.com, facebook.com. It's the name of our website. I'm sure you know this already. Now, one of the easiest ways to find great domain names for our uh, website is actually using uh, a tool called Lean Domain Search. And what this basically does is it helps you to find available .com domain names that are perfect for your website, that are actually in your niche. And when it comes to starting a blog, it's always good to have the type of website in your domain name. OK, so for if for this instance, if I'm doing Jeet Kune Do, it's, got, it's better to have Jeet Kune Do in the domain name or at least Kung Fu in the domain name. OK, so that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to show you it two times. I'm going to show you Kung Fu first. Kung Fu. And I'm going to press enter. And as you can see here, it's going to show me Kung Fu blog, Kung Fu net, Kung Fu site, all Kung Fu, Kung Fu hub. Green Kung Fu, Techie Kung Fu, Cloud for Kung Fu, uh, Click Kung Fu, Kung Fu Search. So there are loads. These are all available to me, okay? And that I can actually go and purchase and then use them for my blog. And it's the same for you. Now we could do it with Jeet Kune Do as well. And I could just press enter, or you could do it with dogs, you could do it with cats, you could do it with, with anything, whatever your niche is. Let's say your niche was golf, okay? to do it with golf and again it's going to show you all of the domain names that are available for you to actually purchase so that's the next thing that's choosing our domain name so make sure that you choose something good and something that you're really happy with because once you've done this you're on to actually purchasing your domain name now we're not going to purchase it on lean domain search we're going to purchase it on another website 
so now we're on to the next step, which is actually purchasing our domain name. But also what we need to do is we need to purchase a thing called hosting. And so hosting and domains work together. So if you imagine that your domain name is your website address, and your hosting is where your website actually lives on. So it's almost like a property. It's like your home address and then your house property, the, the piece of land that it exists on. Now you need hosting when it comes to setting up a blog. Okay, there are two different versions of hosting. There are free and paid. Free basically is not good for starting a blog. Some people think, oh, I'm going to start with free and uh, then I'm going to move to paid. But to be honest, none of the search engines rank uh, free blogs, okay? So they don't classify them as professional blogs. They don't give them any kudos. So you need to basically start with the correct thing in mind. And one of the best tools or one of the best hosting companies that I use is called DreamHost, okay? And one of the reasons I love it as well, for people starting out, it's super inexpensive. It's one of the most inexpensive hosting to get started with. It gives you a free domain name and it also gives you email addresses as well, like Kieran at Kieran Doyle, because not all hosting companies do this, okay? They charge extra for those, but DreamHost actually do it. And their performance is top stars as well. I never have any issues and I run a lot of my blogs and affiliate sites on DreamHost. And it's super, super simple to get set up. So I'm just going to walk you through the whole process of it here. Well, not the whole process. I'm just going to walk you through what you need to be doing. So first, you're going to come to hosting and you're going to come to shared website hosting. OK, and it's going to if you scroll down, you're going to see two plans. You've got shared starter and shared unlimited. OK, now you might think, OK, let's go for shared starter to start. But no, we're going to go for shared unlimited. And let me tell you why. OK. With Shared Starter, you only get one website, okay? With Shared Unlimited, you get unlimited websites, which means that you can produce more and more websites, okay? But not only that, right? You get a free domain name included in both, but you get, if you want to get an email address like Kieran at Kieran Doyle for your website, you'd have to pay $167 a month for the Shared Starter. But with the Shared Unlimited, you get unlimited email addresses. So if you've got lots of people or lots of websites or whatever it is, you can get all those email addresses free of charge, okay? Now, here's where I want to show you the cool thing. If you click to yearly here, they drop down to the same price, okay? So it's $2.95. So what you want to be doing is you want to be choosing the Shared Unlimited at $2.95 and signing up via that. Now, I have a whole article here on actually how to do this, walking you through step by step. So if you have any issues at all with the setup, you have that there for you. And here is the article. So how to start your first blog or website, full WordPress affordable setup. Okay, so it brings you through the whole things. Uh, if we scroll down, so DreamHost, it tells you what about DreamHost, the sites that you need to start, tells you which plans to choose, tells you how to choose it, Tells you the payment methods of it as well, etc. Tells you how to install your WordPress if you if it doesn't set it up automatically. So it has everything in there. Now, I will say, guys, if you actually do set up via this, if you come to my page or whatever it is, I have what is called affiliate links on there. So if you use any of the links on the site to purchase the hosting, which costs you nothing extra, I will earn a commission for that. So I would have massively appreciate it if you actually did that, uh, if you purchased through my affiliate link. And the great thing I love about DreamHost is this, okay? So let's say that we'll choose a, register a new domain. Now, what we wanted to do was, wasn't it uh, Cloud Kung Fu? Just gonna click search. And what it's done is, Congrats, Cloud Kung Fu is available, okay? So this is the domain name that I found on Lean Domain Search. What I want you to see here is this, it's cool. It's only 3540 for the whole year, okay? So it's super, super inexpensive, okay? And so we got Cloud Kung Fu. Congrats, Cloud Kung Fu is available, add for $0. And you can pay via credit card or via PayPal, okay? So if you scroll down here, I want you to scroll down here with me. I want you to come down to this additional options and make sure that you just click that off. You don't need it at all. All right. And sign up to receive personalized tips. Okay. So what you what I want you to do is I want you to go through and you can sign up via your Google if you want. And then you would continue to payment. All right. So again, you have this content here that will show you how to do all of those steps within there. Okay. 
So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so now we're on to the next step. And this is super exciting here because if you have followed the instructions step-by-step, step, you would have had your first website set up already. It's, it's already set up and it's online. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to, like you got your blog set up, you're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, so my blog is set up. How, what kind of content am I going to create? And that's what this whole section is about. This is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to give you all of the prompts, all of the information that you need to get like 300 different ideas related to uh, content related to your website. This is, this is just awesome. You are never going to run out of content ideas to actually create. And the way that you create these, what's going to happen is it's going to give your website this amazing kudos on Google and the search engines that's going to help push your website up the search engines and start to actually get these blog readers. Okay, start to actually get them for your website, which is super, super exciting. So let's have a look at how we do this. We're going to be utilizing Google Bard again. Now, if you notice in the sheet down below that you have access to, there's a lot of videos and there's a lot of prompt links as well. Now, those prompt links lead to three prompts that show you exactly what you need to do to actually get your content ideas created, okay? And there's also videos associated with them as well. And the links are beside each of the sections. So it's broken down into one, two, three, four, five, six. And it shows you the videos that will give you extra help and guidance. And it will also give you the prompts that you need to use to actually get all of this content created. All right, so here's one of the prompt sheets and it's called Topical Content Map with Google Bard. And it gives you all the instructions of what you need to do basically to actually create these, um, these article ideas, okay? So the first thing that we do is we're gonna come to here and we're gonna go, let's start a new chat and we're gonna put in Jeet Undo. Okay, uh, and so what the prompt says here is generate a table containing 30 semantically distinct and relevant topics under the broad category of Jeet Kundo. Okay, and utilize Google Sheets format. And what's going to happen is we're going to get 30 topic ideas here. Okay, 30 topic ideas for our website. Okay, now again, I'm just using Jeet Kundo as an example. Okay, but as you can see here, this is brilliant. Philosophy of Jeet Kune Do. Okay, uh, Jan Fang Gung Fu, fighting techniques and concepts, Chi Sao. But as you can see, all of these, now these are topics for you to write content about. That's not even the cool part. The cool part is this, all right? So once we've done that, we're going to use this prompt here as well. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to use. Um, Philosophy of Jeet Kune Do. Let's just start with the top one, okay? Provide 10 distinct keyword variations of the philosophy of Jeet Kune Do that cater to different search intents. Please organize them in a Google Sheets. Now, what this is going to basically do is this is going to give us 10 article ideas, 10 pieces of ideas that are going to help your website rank in the search engine that people want to find out about. Okay, so you will never run out of ideas. Okay, so here we go. We got 10 unique ideas. Okay, 10 awesome ideas that we can create content about. Now you've got those, but then you've also got these 30 here. So you've got, as you can see, I just used one of these to create 10. So go through the next one, and then you've got 20. Go through the next one, 30, all the way up to 300. You could even ask for more. Okay, so you will never run out of content ideas for your blog with this idea. But now that we have this, how do we actually create these articles and how do we create them quickly? How do we start creating them in a fashion that, you know, utilizes artificial intelligence, but also enables us to edit the content and create them unique for us, for our own blog? And we do that with Google Bard as well. So we're going to move on to the next step. So we're now on to this step of actually creating our content. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to utilize another set of prompts that I have created for you that you can find down in the sheet below. Okay. And it, this is so simple. So this is going to enable you to actually create amazing uh, pieces of content for your website super, super quickly. And I've listed out the prompts here that you can actually use. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to grab the, the prompt here. We're going to come back over to Bard, enter it in here. We're going to come down to one of our keywords that we had down here. Okay, so core principles of Jeet Kune Do. 
And if we just paste this in here, Okay, using the keyword uh, core principles of GQ No, create an outline for an article using the 10 following criteria. Okay, so what not only are you creating an article, but you're creating an optimized article, an SEO optimized article. Okay, this is super, super cool. So once we're gonna once we got it in, we're gonna press enter. And what it's gonna do is it's going to give us an outline for a great article that we're gonna be able to get created using Google Bard. OK, but not only that, what it's done is it's also given us things that we're going to be able to put onto our WordPress website. OK, so given us our title tag and it's given us our meta description, it's given us our outline, our introduction, all of these different things in here about the great article, about the stuff that we need to actually be able to write about. Now, on this sheet, you can actually go through and it shows you all of the things you need to do to then take this outline and turn it into a real article. OK, so go through that. And there's also an attached video as well that you can watch on how to do that. So now that we have these things created, now that we're getting all of these into uh, getting them all created, what we need to do is we need to think, OK, so we want to make money with our blog. How do we make money? How do we start making money with our blog right now from today? And we do this by utilizing a thing called a lead magnet. And a lead magnet is almost like an ethical bribe, okay? It's we give something to somebody of perceived value and they give us their email address in return. Now, inside of this ebook or this lead magnet, what we'll have is we'll have information, we'll have potentially a product in there that we can sell as an affiliate as well. So super, super important here. So again, just like before, you have a video and you have prompts associated with creating that. So let's look at it. So here we are over at the sheet and we're gonna be able to create our lead magnet in here. Now, just like before, you have this sheet and you have the attached video that you can look at, okay? So make sure that you take your time and go through this because this lead magnet is what's gonna make you money. It's what you can give away for free and turn that freeness into, into cash, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, because we already know our niche already, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over to Bard and we're going to say what specific problems people face in the and let's say the Jeet Kundo niche. OK, so what specific problems people face in the Jeet Kundo market? All right. And what this is going to do is a lead magnet is best when it solves a singular problem. So we're going to be able to find these singular problems that are that people face and then be able to create content around them. So we're going to click enter. And it's going to go through and it's just going to tell us what are the problems that people face within Jeet Kune Do. Finding uh, authentic Jeet Kune Do instructions, understand the philo philosophical underpinnings, integrating Jeet Kune Do into self-defense, uh, finding sparring partners, achieving mastery of Jeet Kune Do. So stacks of them. So depending on what your niche is in there, it's going to be able to find those issues that people are actually having. The next step would be we just come back into BARD. Let's say that we like uh, understanding the underpinnings of Jeet Kune Do. So I like the idea of understanding the underpinnings of Jeet Kune Do and how to overcome these. I'm looking to create an ebook on this topic. Could you give me five ideas of what I could write about so I can decide which? And what it's going to do is it's going to give you five ideas for ebooks. This is the beauty of this here. So decoding be like water, un unveiling the no way philosophy, embracing continuous evolution and personal expression. And again, just like before, just come back in, grab the next prompt, and go through it okay you've got all the prompts there that are going to enable you to actually create your whole blog so from start to finish you have absolutely everything there but take your time you know spend the rest of the day getting this up because all it will take is a day and you can start earning income with that and that's it that's how you create your blog so I really hope that you've enjoyed that and make sure that you get stuck into all of those things that I have down there. Take it, take your time, take it a step at a time, okay? And get your blog created. Now, if you need any more help with your blog, I also have an in-depth training course that goes more in-depth into all of the things that are actually needed as well. So that's called the Blog Profit Path. And if you've enjoyed this, potentially you're gonna enjoy the Blog Profit Path also. So look, please, I'd love to see you in there. And look, thanks so much for being here. My name's Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. And I hope I've earned your subscription. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Keep it easy. Thank you very much.